Jeff Green in this one, 15 points off the bench for the Nets. Let's hear from him. Hey, Jeff, just first off on Kevin, how, how just bizarrely confusing is that whole situation, seeing him, you know, out there, pulled, come back, and then pulled again? <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't get it. It's, uh, it's frustrating, obviously. I mean, um, they let him play. And they take them out. Like I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I'm, this is protocol they have. Um, you know, I, we just want answers. But you know, I don't know. I, I ain't got nothing for you right now. I ain't got no answer for you. Mentally, what is that like? Specifically in the third quarter when he's pulled, <laughs> when you're trying to lock in in a game and a team that's as scrappy and physical as Toronto, and something like that happens. I mean, it's definitely a major blow, uh, knowing how it all was handled, you know, to begin with. Uh, you know, first, right before the game started, literally right before the game started, saying that, you know, he's not going to be able to play. So, I mean, that changes our approach a little bit, you know, with him out. Then they say, no, he can't play. Now, you know, with the flow of the game, you know, we got to, I mean, obviously it's Kevin, but, you know, he has to find his rhythm. We got to integrate him and in what we're what has been happening throughout the game so far. Then it's okay. He can't play again. It's, it makes no sense. But you know, it was next man up, as we say, and it's just tough. It's just tough. It, it just the fl whole flow was just it just wasn't right <clears throat> uh, with us. You know uh, how they handled the situation, but you know it's not an excuse. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Jeff, you've, you've been in this league a long time. Have you ever seen anything that compares to this? Or is there any experience you could draw on that was anywhere <laughs> similar to what happened tonight? None. None at all. None at all. It's, um, I mean, I, from what I understand, I don't, I don't have the whole story or the answers, but I know Kevin, you know, was negative. That's all, that's all I, you know, I know. And I mean, if he's negative, I, I don't know why he couldn't play, especially when they allowed it. But, but I haven't seen anything like it, no. And and Joe said that you know I I don't make the decisions, I just work here. But but you do, Correct. you guys do work here. Do you want to see this kind of is this kind of something towards these protocols are new? Do you think that this kind of shows that they need to be reviewed and refined? I think they need to be refined a little bit more. I mean, it's always going to be a gray area as far as, you know, trying to accomplish what they're trying to accomplish. But um, as individually speaking, if somebody tests negative and then they test negative again, then again, I don't see the sense of sitting that person because of, you know, what they see some, somewhere else, I guess. Um, you know, if you're negative, you should be able to play. Um, you know, that's how I view it. And, you know, that's that's how I think it should be refined. But, um, you know, I'm pretty sure as we continue to go along, you know, things may change. But we just got to follow what, you know, what rules are handed to us. So that's how it is. Thank you. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Jeff, I'm just curious if you've been able to talk to Kevin at all since this happened, whether by text or social distancing of even still in the arena? No, I haven't had a chance to speak with him. Um, I'm just going based off what I've been hearing and um, basically what I've been hearing. Uh, you know, the game just ended not too long ago, so, uh, you know, it's been recovery and showering, getting dressed to try to hit the field. Last question, Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Jeff, does a, does a night like tonight kind of make you rethink whether, whether an all-star game is the best idea? I mean, shit, I don't care. I ain't going to be in the All-Star game anyway, so. Uh, but um, I don't know. To be honest, I think you got to ask somebody who may make it uh, whether or not it's good for them. Because, I mean, as for me, rest, especially the way the season is, having a game every other day, some back-to-backs, some four games in five nights, uh, I think, <clears throat> you know, rest is important. And, you know, having a, a gathering like that, you know, may 
have some setbacks, obviously, because of, you know, transportation, everybody, you know, going to one one area. But, you know, maybe there it'll be bubble-like, I guess. I have no idea how how those rules are going to be handled and what's going to happen. So, uh, I mean, I can't give you a specific answer, but I won't be there. So I ain't got to worry about it.